Hi and welcome back. In uh, this chapter we are going to talk about poor libraries and uh, modules. So where do we start? Um, when you write a uh, Perl script and it's growing, it, you start using functions at first as uh, some kind of uh, way to reuse code, so you don't instead of duplicating stuff. But um, as you write more and more uh, scripts, at one point you understand that you have some common functions that you're using both uh, scripts, so you would like to put them in some common file because if you just copy paste between them then it's gonna be just growing and growing and uh, if you have to fix something in one of these functions then you'll have to go over all the all the scripts and maybe some of the scripts are elsewhere already it would be much better to put it into one place so Perl 4 had a solution for this and it's called creating libraries and I'm going to show you how it's done not because I'm recommending it right now, but because I do see people still using it right today. And I see a lot of places where it's in current use. So when you're encountering, uh, it's very important that you understand what you see. And then we'll later see how we can refactor it into proper modules and maybe even to object-oriented use. So let's uh, see the example. Here we have uh, two files. One of them is a uh, library PL. It's a file called library PL. And the second one is the Perl4 application.pl. So basically, this is our script that we are going to run. And this is the file here that contains the functions that uh, we would like to, to use. So let's see first how it, we are using it. We just have the shebang, we don't have the use strict, use warnings, because it's per file, per four style, remember? Back then there was no use strict, use warnings. So, then you need to load somehow the, the library. The way you do that is you type require, and then the pass, the direct pass, to the library. It means that you actually need to know where that library is located in your file system, probably relative to your code, but your main uh, application, but still. And then you can start using the functions. So for example, you can use the add function that comes from that uh, library because it's in the same script now, basically. It's included there. And there is the dollar $base variable that also came from this uh, module here at the, at the top here. We De uh, defined it, declared it. So that's the way how you, you, you used to use these uh, libraries. And the way you created the library is just the Perl script. So it also has the PL extensions, per library probably. And you assigned the value to a variable, which was a global variable here. As you can see in this file, again, you don't have use strict, you don't have use warnings, you don't even have the shebang, because this is not a file that you would r run directly. And then you have the declared subroutine, uh, add, and another one, multiply, which I haven't implemented here, but just to remind you that there might be. And then there might be additional functions, for example, these valid parameters that is used by the add function and probably by the multiply function and probably by other functions, but it's used ex internally only. So you are not supposed to use that in the, in the main script. And you end it with uh, one semicolon. That's because you want to make sure that when Perl loads this library, it receives a true value. So it's a bit strange, but that's how we have to just add this uh, number one there. So that's how you use it. And then uh, you can run this script and uh, it will just work. By the way, if you forget to add this uh, one, at the, at the end, then you would get an error like this, did not return a true value. So you can try it and see how it works. So that's how you would write libraries, basically.